Welcome back to the channel, my friends, Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man, and today we're talking about our worst nightmare manifesting. This video is sponsored by CMO Games. More on that later. All right, so there's a lot of anxiousness and definitely some concern, as well as people are expecting Warhammer 40k Kill Team Nightmare to be out by now. We know that it was initially previewed at the end of last year. We saw the beta Decima Kill Team Terrain set come out early this year, and that's going to be essentially like the terrain set for at least part of this setting or this season. And then, of course, we got the Salvation box early in January, and that was our first quarter box. So now that we're rolling into the second quarter, people are getting a little bit impatient and wondering exactly where Kill Team Nightmare is. So I decided to take a look back and just see exactly the time frame. So here we have pulled up the LVO 2024 preview, Kill Team Descends in a World of Nightmares. So this article initially launched on January 19th of 2024. So mid to late January. And we know obviously that if there's four quarters in a year, we should expect these boxes once every three months. So January to February, February to March, March to April. I'm thinking we're going to get the announcement roughly around April 19th. So we've still got somewhere in the next like week or two, possibly even as much as three weeks for them to announce like the official pre-orders for Warhammer 40k Kill Team Nightmare. So I don't think at this point in time there's anything to be concerned about. I think realistically it's probably going to be on the pre-order announcements either next Sunday, the Sunday after, or possibly as late as the Sunday after that. That would kind of fall in the time frame of what we would expect from Games Workshop. So as far as I'm concerned right now, I know people are worried that there's something wrong. There may even be some slight delays with manufacturing, supply chain, shipping, distribution, etc. But as of now, I don't think there's anything to be concerned about. And in all reality, the new announcement from Adepticon and like the new Kill Team box set is roughly spaced out three months or one quarter as we would expect. And then I think only the announcement of the next box set without the previous announced box set coming out is what's making people anxious or worried that there might be something wrong or possibly just people are impatient because Nightmare is such a freaking cool box. So that being said, I do want to apologize for the sound quality over the last couple of weeks as I was gone at Adepticon. I did film some awesome stuff and I'll edit together some videos. You guys will definitely be very impressed with how cool Adepticon was. Get to see some of that footage and enjoy some of the journey with me. I appreciate everybody that continued to comment and watch the videos and I do appreciate you guys. And I do know that the sound quality and just overall quality of the videos was a little less than normal. So I appreciate you guys watching those and sticking with me on my Adepticon journey. So that being said, let's take a look at the new box set that was announced now that we've sort of dispelled the rumors and talked about the time frame and everything for Nightmare. All right, so 21st of March, 2024, Adepticon 2024, Kill Team Termination sees Brood Brothers battle Hernkin. So I'm a little bit surprised to see a second Votan Kill Team but obviously GSC was one of my guesses for what was to come. I'm not mad about it as honestly I love Votan and I have a small little army that I've been working on slowly but surely doing a ton of conversions. But it is interesting that they're getting a second kill team before other factions even get their first. That being said, they had just gotten a massive launch and they did only get an expansion sprue. So it is really cool to see them get like a full kill team with all new models. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. We'll take a look at that in just a sec. The world of Beta Decima is falling apart, and the errant warbands are battling to make off with a valuable loot before the whole planet falls into anarchy. Sprawling seaborne platforms that once rang with industry and hum with technological secrets now echo with gunfire and screams, and it's time for two new kill teams to square up in the next upcoming expansion. Kill Team Termination finds a band of Hernkin scouts from the Leagues of Votan facing down Astra Militarum troopers infected by a gene stealer cult amidst the glowing plasma coils of a power generatorium pitting grizzled kin efficiently against the mad fanaticism of the brood brothers all right so very cool box art right here kill team termination and just scrolling down we see two pieces of terrain little power coils and then our first kind of look at the actual models inside we've seen the hernkin before in warhammer 40,000, but not all of them are hernkin pioneers with the luxury of a high-speed hover trike known as jaegeris these footbound frontiersmen spend most of their time ranging far ahead of their kindreds Protected from the elements by their distinctive greatcoats and packing an assortment of powerful and flexible weapons to fend off opportunistic predators. Alright, so here we've got our first official look at the Pioneers. So these are basically the kin that ride the bikes, but on foot. So we see the awesome trench coats and everything, and then some various different equipment. So very cool, we see like some blades on multiples of them. We see some interesting looking tech that we haven't seen before. Things like pick and shovels and potentially like some kind of bomb system here. Uh, very cool overall. We see the various like different hats. And then obviously because this is a custom kill team, we would expect like lots of specialists. 
So we see a sniper right here with a different style rifle than we traditionally see. And then of course we see some various other equipment like the revolver shotgun. Here we see like a crossbow. Very, very cool looking models. Nice sculpts. And then of course we got one of the AI robots, a strictly hand-to-hand -hand combat one, a double pistolier. Overall, just very, very cool. So 10 in total, all individual and unique sculpts. Definitely happy to see that. So just at a quick glance, I don't see any particular poses that look like they're repeated. So there's definitely a possibility that this is just 10 completely unique sculpts uh, with lots of like weapon and equipment options, lots of cool bits. So very, very cool. Definitely impressed by the models overall and looking forward to this skill team. The Hurricane Jaegers expect to find themselves fighting up close and personal. So they're slinging bolt shotguns and an arsenal of pistols, plasma knives, and other in-your-face weapons. When more firepower is called for, the combination of magna coil sniper rifle and an adaptive payload missile launcher can solve pretty much any problem silently or otherwise. Their hunting and tracking seals would be on high demand and Beta Decima as a sinister band of treacherous stern coasts level their las guns to the four-armed emperor. A gene sealer cult spread throughout a society from the lowliest peons to the halls of power. Entire regiments of planet defense forces can fall under their sway, creating units of sleeper soldiers known as Brood Brothers. Now a quick message from today's sponsor. CMO Games has been selling Games Workshop products online for over 20 years. They carry the full line of Games Workshop products including Warhammer 40,000, Age of Sigmar, Necromunda, Blood Bowl, Paint Tools, and more. Almost all Games Workshop products are priced at 15% off MSRP. CMO Games takes pre-orders for most Games Workshop products released at their earliest date possible. 12.01 a.m. on Saturday, they go live. Most of these pre-order products are also priced at 15% off MSRP. CMO Games offer free shipping in the U.S. 48 with an order of $50 or more. Their customer service is top-notch and they ship most orders within 24 hours. Visit cmogames.com using the affiliate link in the description and let them know that you heard about CMO Games from Warhammer Man. Now, back to the video. All right, so on to the Fallen Astra Militarum or Gene Stiller Cult Brood Brothers. And again, this fits right in with the lore. Very, very cool. Um, we got another unique new kill team. So this is a new kill team, but then also has some models that already existed in the range. So starting here with like the actual Astra Militarum Brood Brothers. So we do see like a leader of the squad with like the Gene Stiller Cult hand and power weapons, some nice cool sculpts, of course, a Melta gun. And then we see a standard bear, like Vox or communication, and then some kind of like close combat power mace. And then moving along here, we see like a medic, shotgun, and sniper rifle as well. Some really nice looking models once again. 10 total unique sculpts, so very, very cool. But that is not it. These highly trained soldiers combine their equipment, training, and access to Astro Militarum squads with the fanatical zealotry and alien instincts of a true gene stealer cultist. Like many under the thrall of the gene stealers, however, their single-minded devotion often requires careful direction from a higher up in a chain of command. It's not uncommon to see superiors from their brood coven joining the fight personally, up to and including the patriarch themselves should a mission be deemed sufficiently important. All right, so then very cool we have right here a set of existing models previously offered. And as soon as I saw this, I was very impressed. So this is the actual brood coven that's currently part of the range. And just on its own, if you were to buy the brood coven, it would run you $70. So the Brood Coven alone is $70, and then we're going to get two complete new 10-man kill teams and some terrain in this box set. In my opinion, that is a really, really nice box. So the Brood Coven is composed of one Patriarch, this monstrous bad boy right here, and then we have also the Primus right here, the Magus, and then two Gene Stiller Cult familiars. And all of those models are obviously very cool, definitely some nice looking models. But just the price point on this like group of guys at $70 on their own makes the actual like Gene Stealer Cult kill team from this set, absolutely phenomenal. Because we would assume that 10 man infantry would be somewhere between like 50 and 60 bucks. So that means this is basically like a $130 kill team. And the previous box set was right around that price point as well. So for what amounts to picking up like the new Gene Stealer Cult portion of this box set, we're going to also get the full Voton 10 man kill team. And then also the terrain pieces, the books, the cards, all that stuff as well. So very, very cool set, very exciting, and it definitely looks like this one is packed with value. In this area of Beta Decima, power relay stations still flicker and thrum with energy as skill teams fight to claim bounties, secure intel, or simply escape with their lives. Massive plasma generatoriums from the backdrop for these vicious clandestine operations, and the solid metal frames make for an excellent cover and convenient vintage points. But such ancient technology isn't always reliable, and some missions turn them into outright hazards. All right, so we see two of these in the box set, and it's cool they got like some little stairs leading up to them. Nice blocking line of sight pieces of cover, and then obviously some cool opportunity to do like some custom plasma glow paint jobs, some weathering effects. Uh, very cool. I'm definitely a fan of this type of stuff. Chunky, big line of sight blocking pieces of terrain. All new models in 
two new 10 man sets of models for the kill team, all unique. And then of course the addition of the brood brothers. I am super excited for this kill team set. I think this looks awesome and will be a great value. These aren't dinky little metal boxes though. They're over twice the height of a normal human and can even hide the patriarch from view. A good set of climbing equipment means that Jaegers will have no trouble finding a good shooting spot from atop a generatorium, even if they're liable to get nosebleeds from the unexpected altitude. Kill Team Termination will be out later this year, so in the meantime, head back to our hub for more announcements from the Warhammer Preview Show at Adepticon 2024. All right, so that being said, we talked a little bit about Nightmare. Obviously, we have the preview for Termination. I don't think there's anything to be worried about at this point in time. I'm fully expecting Nightmare to come up for pre-order in the next like one to three weeks, right on schedule with what we would expect. That will be our Q2 box, and then this will be our Q3 box later in the year. So far, I'm very impressed with Kill Team. The terrain set is really cool. I feel like Games Workshop has definitely listened. And by breaking up the big box sets, while for somebody like me that picks them all up, it's not quite as good of a value. I think for people that are more interested in like the models and the new teams and less interested in a ton of redundant terrain, that this is a better overall way for them to release Kill Team. It also allows them to produce much more of the actual models and meet the demand without swamping the world in terrain. And it's also allowed them to back down the price point from up around $200 for the big box set down closer to like 125 or 130 for the smaller dual kill team boxes with like one or two smaller pieces of terrain and then the addition also of like the books the cards the game aids all that cool stuff as well so i think overall this is a better way to release everything i understand the concerns that it feels like nightmare should be out by now but according to like the actual schedule and what we've seen in the past there's nothing to worry about at this point in time we know kill team nightmare was just shown off in the warhammer plus battle report so oftentimes games workshop will show stuff off in advance give you a little taste of the rules to get you excited and then we'll see the pre-orders come up like the week or two afterwards so in my opinion nothing to worry about put your nightmares to bed and if you are after that set you better save that money Thanks once again for everybody that continued to watch the videos while I was on the road. Obviously, the sound and overall quality was not nearly as good. Glad to be back with my full setup. I had an absolute blast at Adepticon. It was absolutely amazing getting to meet so many awesome people from the community, so many other creators, and I'm really looking forward to putting together like some video and showing off some of the cool stuff that was going on there. So let me know what you think down below. Are you excited for Termination? Are you overly excited for Nightmare and ready to finally get it? Always like to hear back from you guys in the comments. Special thanks to CMO Games for sponsoring the video. Check out the link in the description to save 15% on Games Workshop products. That's it for today. Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man, and I'm out of here.